the organizing committee of this uh, entire paper presentation competition jury member gulle sir dobe sir then all the different uh, scrutiny members and uh, and jury members of different polytechnics jadhav sir and his team who have come for, uh, for judging this paper presentation competition then all the faculties of this samarth polytechnic specially mechanical engineering department hod sir is present on the dais he has taken a great role in uh, organizing this entire paper presentation competition then faculties of other departments also the teaching non teaching staff and most important the students who are sitting in front of me uh, i felt very nice uh, interacting to you all uh, during the entire speeches i was just focusing all the students and i am very much impressed with the discipline by which you all are uh, sitting i have visited many functions and i just see people talking over there but you are patiently listening i am thankful for this to all of you for listening to the speeches properly talking about msbt you all know msbt is the maharashtra state board of technical education what is our vision our vision is to ensure that diploma level technical education meets the requirements of society as well as industry so that the final product our students will contribute to nation development it's it is also important that the overall personality development of student is achieved means just just uh, giving the just giving our output the students to the industry that is not sufficient we also want our students to be fully developed physically as well as mentally so in uh, for such type of personality development this competitions like paper project competition quiz competitions they are important and our uh, aim our vision is that most of the students like we don't expect all of the students to attend but at least 90 to 95 student percent of students must uh, participate in different type of competitions as uh, kapil sir told us that uh, this is a remote institute but i am very much happy that even though this institute is situated in a remote rural background this institute is uh, nba accredited so so i want to congratulate the entire staff who has taken efforts for doing taking an nba accreditation so you all know that um, nba accreditation is not so much easy the entire team is coming third party team is coming they visit the institute they note down all the parameters and after that they are giving accreditation so it is an important milestone in the history of this samarth group of institutions and i expect that in future also this uh, we were uh, samarth uh, group of institution is going to excel this performance so uh, to the students i want to say that when you are participating in any type of competition winning is not important if you participate in 10 competitions you will win in at least 5 this is a probability of success success rate is 50% mostly but what happens that uh, people think that uh, in, in while participating if i go on the desk if i participate in competition i am not able to if i am not able to communicate properly people will laugh at me let people laugh at you let them they will remain at the, their place only if you go on participating in such competition you will get some experience you will get some motivation and at least if you at the you will succeed at the last if in the 10th competition you are going to succeed so participation is entire is very much important all the different teams which are participate they are all are winners in my eyes okay because at the end of the day the trophy is only for three but all the different all the teams which are participate that that is participation is important and normally what we think if we fail in any subject we get demotivated and sir was telling that the in this polytechnic they have prepared one uh, road map like zero backlog zero copy case if you are getting failed in any subject don't get demotivated there is always the next attempt but make sure that whatever mistakes you have made in your first attempt in your while writing your answer book you analyze all the mistakes and you make sure that 
you make sure that there is no such uh, mistakes you are repeating again okay to uh, now most important thing which i want to share is about msbt's guidelines msbt is a very strict organization it doesn't entertain any type of mal practices in examination so from the last two years after the covid pandemic we saw that many of the students are indulging in mal practices so my request to all of you that is that don't indulge in any type of mal practices if you if you find if you are finding guilty of violating the norms there are very strict punishments which are given on behalf of msbt and in that punishment you might might lose an entire semester you might lose an entire year so it's okay if you are not able to clear any subject work hard attempt it you get pass in next semester but never try to indulge in any type of mal practices in the in a short i want to end my short speech in a small uh, story of out of our uh, i saw the poster of late honorable president apj abdul kalam sir apj abdul kalam sir wanted to be a didn't wanted to be a scientist always his his dream was to become a fighter pilot so when the staff selection board uh, his interview was there physical test and 11 students were there 11 candidates who were appearing for this air force test so when the final list came outside all of the out of that 11 all the 10 got selected and only kalam sir was there who didn't get selected so see that amount of demotivated if you were in that place out of 11 if you tell to your parents that yes out of 11 i am the one who will get who is rejected so what will be the amount of demotivation that person he was going through but did he kept quiet no he was the first person who took the took forward the india's missile mission he was properly called as missile man of india and you know that when apj dr apj abdul kalam was made the president of india he uh, he became the supreme commander of armed forces normally the president is the supreme commander of armed forces and then and what what was his dream to flew the fighter aircraft and at that time he made his dream successful he flew the fighter aircraft sukhoi now see now there is no place uh, uh, the number of attempts which you, number of opportunities that you, you will be getting in your life that is unlimited so if one failure is coming to your in your journey don't stop you always think that there is a step forward so i will end this my short speech i wish you all the best for this paper presentation competition and all the best to all of you